Hello friends, welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimple Dalal, and today we will start this video with Neil's story. Hurry up, dear. You are getting late. Mama, I don't want to go to school. No excuses, Neil. You will have to go to school. Neil is an eight-year-old boy who is afraid of going to school. He finds every subject of study difficult and often fails in the examination. <laughs> Neil, read the poem number four. Which one, ma'am? Neil, what an idiot you are! Teachers in school and parents at home keep reprimanding him, because of which he keeps losing his confidence. His friends make fun of him, and because of this. He starts living alone and becomes an introvert. Gradually, he starts making excuses to avoid school and studies. For example, right at the time of the arrival of the school bus, he will say that he is having stomach pain or has loose motions, due to which the parents will not send him to the school and he will be saved from the class test that is to be held that day. Although Neil is a child with a very sharp mind, but his interests are different from others. He is very creative and intelligent too. There is a different and very beautiful world in his mind, but generally no one knows his talent of his. With increasing age, the reprimands, despise and repudiation from the world breaks him from inside. Fear of failure and anxiety starts developing in him while meeting people. Finally, he lands into depression. A personality like Neil is present around all of us. Their talent is different from routine, but we do not understand their creativity and push them into depression. So, let us try to understand this personality deeply in today's video. The name of this personality is Argentum nitricum. The mentally healthy Argentum nitricum individual is bright, quick-witted, and somewhat eccentric. They are more intellectually oriented people rather than egoistical. Argentum nitricum people are very open and forthcoming in most cases and do not try to hide their eccentricity during case taking. It is the mental or intellectual aspect of the personality that is off-centered rather than the emotions. The healthy Argentum mind is extremely sharp and tends to have lateral thinking instead of the common linear logical thinking. They easily make connections between the notions that are unconnected to the average intellect such as the price of the coffee and the state of the environment. The more psychologically healthy the people of Argentum are, the more are the possibilities that these connections have some validity. The average Argentum individual is a mental rather than emotional type. In other words, he lives more in his head than in his feelings. Most Argentum enjoy exploring the world of their intellect. They take an interest in highly advanced matters of unconventional and intellectual discoveries such as colonization of space, etc. Argentum is fascinated by such subjects and is liable to share his opinions and discoveries enthusiastically. Neil, read the paragraph 4. Once upon a time. Neil, what an idiot you are. I said paragraph 4. Blah, 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 blah. Unpredictability is the key feature of Argentum. Get out of my class. Argentum is irrational and does strange things and comes to strange conclusions. In the healthy Argentum individual, this irrationality takes the form of impulsively doing or saying whatever amuses them, without regard for what other people may think. Argentum individuals are prone sometimes to strange impulses, which they know are irrational. In the vast majority of cases, these impulses are resisted. Although they can be powerful and require all the individual's will to resist them. Argentum has a sharp wit and may suddenly jump upon the words of one he is listening to make a pun out of them. His playfulness is intellectual. Even Argentum's dress sense tends towards the unconventional. Some Argentums are sociable, 
while others tend to be loners. Most are relatively open, often to the point of appearing innocent. Argentum has a bright childlike curiosity and tends to lack social inhibitions. Hi, I think you are new to this boarding school. Yes. Did your parents also punish you by sending you to this boarding school? He is liable to strike up conversation with strangers using cues in the immediate environment to lead into topics which interest him. Because of his very eccentricity, Argentum may find it hard to make friends. They may have difficulty finding friends who are not put off or intimidated by their strange ideas and forthright manner. On the other hand, they may be appreciated by their friends and partner for these very qualities. They are not particularly shy unless they have become fearful in general. Argentum tends to be independently minded. One is liable to have interest of one's own and will not mind that their spouse or partner does not share them. Argentum have their own opinions, likes and dislikes and they will not depend upon others unduly for their sense of identity. The relatively healthy Argentum individuals know what they think and are liable to stick doggedly to their views. Most Argentum enjoy expressing their ideas, but they are seldom loquacious. On Sunday we will take you to the boarding school. No, I don't want to go to boarding school. Don't argue, I have made up my mind. Mama, please help me. I don't want to go to boarding school. However, when Argentum becomes fearful, their thoughts may become obsessive and their conversation will then reflect this. Argentum's mind is mercurial in every way. Quick of perception but lacking endurance. It tends to flit from one focus of interest to another. At best, this produces a mind that has an enormous breadth of knowledge that is reliable and penetrating. At worst, it results in superficiality and a scattered mind that cannot be relied upon. So till now, we have seen how healthy Argentum individuals are. Just to brief, healthy Argentum individuals are intelligent, sharp-witted and eccentric. They are unconventional, irrational and impulsive. They are someone who is indiscreet, obstinate and unable to fix attention. Now in our next video, we will see how Argentum individuals behave when their mind becomes weak. If you have found value in this video, please don't forget to like and share it with others. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so now. Please comment and provide your valuable feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.